These kinds of robots can be used to better understand natural behavior, such as in schools of fish or even humans. Honorable mention two, blood cleaning robots. If someone announced 30 years ago that they were creating intelligent robots small enough to swim through your human blood veins, they would have been called crazy. But in this technological era, scientists have made unbelievable discoveries time and time again. Roboticists at the University of California, San Diego, have created microscopic robots that have the ability to cleanse human blood of bacterial pollutants from the inside. These machines, referred to as cell-like nanorobots, are powered by ultrasound and are able to swim through blood to remove bacteria and their toxins. Each nanobot is about 25 times smaller than the width of a single strand of hair and swims at a rate of 35 micrometers per second. The nanorobots are built by combining gold nanowires with the membranes of human blood cells and platelets. The hybrid membrane coating gives the nanorobots the benefits of two different kinds of cells. Red blood cells, which counteract the toxins generated by bacteria, and platelets, which limit pathogens. As an added benefit, the membrane coating also shields the nanorobots from biofouling, a bodily defense mechanism during which proteins cling onto foreign objects to prevent them from harming the body. While these nanorobots are still in development, researchers are hopeful that the technology could be monumental in the field of medicine. During clinical testing, blood samples polluted by a type of bacteria called MRSA were treated with nanorobots. Within five minutes, the samples contained three times less bacteria. According to researchers in charge of the cell-sized nanorobots, the end goal is not only to use them to treat MRSA bacterial infections, but also to cleanse biological fluids in general. The researchers also intend to perform tests on animals and craft the nanowires found within the membranes out of biodegradable materials rather than gold. Number one, cell-sized nanobots. The researchers from California, however, are not the only ones who have engineered nanorobots. A group of scientists at MIT has created robots just as small and MIT. The nanorobots from MIT are the same size as a human egg cell. They are made up of two-dimensional electronic circuits attached to tiny particles called colloids. A colloid is a mixture, or the particles in a mixture, that cannot be dissolved. So they remain floating throughout a substance. By combining nanorobotic technology with colloids, the researchers aim to develop robots that can move through substances to perform diagnostics. While medical researchers hope to send these nanobots through the human bloodstream or digestive tract, some have pointed out other uses, such as in oil pipelines and plumbing. Smaller than a grain of sand, these nanobots are so tiny they can literally float in the air and could potentially be used to measure atmospheric properties. What really sets these nanobots apart, however, is that they are designed to be controllable. While other devices can match these nanobots in size, they rely on the flowing of liquids and air to move. The MIT researchers are specifically looking at ways to make their nanobots more mobile, such as by adding tail-like flagella. These nanobots are also self-powered. Using a tiny semiconductor, a small joule of electricity powers the robot's miniature... Okay, so if they got this robot that's about to go through the air with flagellin, doesn't that sound like, um... What's that movie, Rudyard? What is that? The Crazies? Um, that one movie where when the wind would blow, all them people started committing suicide and killing each other. I forgot what that's called. You can leave it in the comment section. That would that and Invasion of the Body Snatchers. So this is all bio to fuck with your mind. Oh my gosh circuits. Regarding these nanobots, one thing's for sure, should they turn out successful, biotechnology will never be the same. That's all we have for you today, folks. And oh my gosh.